Hey guys, so I decided I'd play a little bit of Space Hulk Ascension. It's been quite a while since I played this, but uh, I had somebody who wanted to see what it looks like, so I thought I might as well play one game. It's I'm terrible at it. It's uh, a really hard game. Really fun, but really hard. So, if you do know the Warhammer 40k universe, you'll, under, you'll recognize the Terminators here. However, if you don't, that's alright, it's still a fun game. Um, now I believe Space Hulk Ascension, or Space Hulk, was actually a board game, so to speak. Hold on here, I'm just trying to figure out which difficulty to choose first. Equal, uh, we'll go hard. Alright, yeah, so Space Hulk is a board game that was uh, apparently um, adopted for this, for this. There we are, like adopted to a computer game, sorry. Since it's, uh, since I'm being Ultramarines, I might as well choose the ultra Ultramarine level. Alright, can't do that, alright. Let's continue, loadouts. So, let's see here. I always like to have a libra librarian on, on, on one of them. Sorry. I like to have a librarian who kind of is a psychic, psychic user. He kind of has a little bit more um, mental powers, as you can see here, psychic powers. So this here allows him to... Okay, give basically one guy within six squares an extra action point. Action points are used to move, shoot, unjam your weapons, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so here, you can change the skills on them. Here, I can give him heat reduction, I think it is. Yeah, basically. Or upgrade his fire, fire control, basically. As your weapons fire, they build up heat, and then when they get hot enough, they have a chance to jam. We can change out his weapons if we wanted to. Um, is there any difference with these? No, I don't know why one's a named weapon and one's not. Stormbolter, standard. Here we have a flamer. Uses a flamethrower. Nice and tight, nice and effective in our tight quarters where that's what this game is about, tight quarters. So flamethrowers are nice to have. And here we have just normal guys. You can replace special characters, or sorry here, you can replace the captains with other captains and or librarians. So we'll library in here. No, no, no. We want, uh, we want, how do you do this again here? Oh, right, right, right. So you click the little arrow. That's what it is. So now Octavius is in this squad, Oc squad Octavius, because they named it after this leader. We have a flamethrower unit who has a flamethrower. When he levels up, you have the chance to, or you have the chance, you have the ability to switch weapons out. And we don't have that. And he's just got a normal power fist. You can upgrade that to a chain fist at level 3. I've never had anybody last that long, so I don't know what it's like. Um, move without losing sustained fire bonus. Well, I do like to have somebody here, for this first mission at least, have heat management to watch the rear. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's see what these guys all have for loadouts. Or for attack. Okay, well... How about you? Any of these have threes all around? No. Alright, cool. So, let us do this, and we'll start into the mission. And we want to select Squad Octavius, because he's got the Librarian, and they level up. So, basically, if one of your guys dies, he is dead. He does not come back, he is dead. Um... And, uh, yeah, they level up during the missions, so it's nice to bring them, bring your weaker guys, like the Librarian, he's a little weaker, but he has those psychic powers. So, we have to deactivate the shield, we have, that's where we have to get to. We have to exit with three or more Terminators left. Three out of our five. Alright, so that's the end of the briefing. So, alright, we'll go to the deployment. Now... We have five guys we can deploy. Oops, sorry, it's a little little finicky here. The controls are a little sensitive. So we want to deploy this guy first. Your order, sir. 
again, this is just my tactic that I like to do. Here, and then your facing costs an extra point to, to turn. You can have, I think it's three, or is it four each? Ah, eh, well, I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's four. So, walks forward, and he turns. Now, I still have one action point left. He can't do anything for one, so he's just gonna stand there. I need to deploy two more guys to be able to end my turn. So I'll have, hmm, I'll have this guy start. I shall not fail. And he'll go this way. Now, I've played this this first level a little bit, and this is the only level I've played on for the Ultramarines campaign. I've tried a couple of the others, but... Okay, Flamethrower. I want to deploy the Flamethrower and have him come this way. Now, he is behind him, so you can't fire through him because you will incinerate the guy ahead of you. And I also like the little picture-in-picture -picture here. And the Librarian might as well deploy and come forward and face this way. Because you can walk through the corners, I think. Yeah, and Overwatch isn't going to help anything. I'm going to wait to deploy him because there's no point yet since it's just going to sit there anyway. And turn. Alright. Now, he is going to walk forward as fast as he can. We have movement. There. So you can't see what's beyond the door. You have to, sp you have to open the doors. You can shoot the doors open as well and destroy them, but your weapons might jam, might not work, it's kind of hard to destroy them, you know, all the... Nope, no, I... Darn it, I've done that a lot, and I keep forgetting to... to, uh, learn how I prevent that from happening. Again, I... it's been a while since i played, so, you know, no hating. Your command. Yes, my command. There, Taking you position. go there. Now, if I wanted to... Just one... Open the door is one, so two, three, four. I think the. Yeah, okay, the librarian. I only have. Let's see here. How much. How many psychic powers does he. Or how much psychic charge does he have? Because I think. If I, if I remember correctly, you can only do it so many. Oh, there it is. Right down here. I have ten psychic power. So this would take one. Sure, let's do that. There. Now all these guys get an extra square of movement. There we go. Yes, go that way. You can go forward. And you can have some. And you can't do overwatch because that requires two. Equipment. You know what? Yeah. Let's dr drop a servo skull. Servo skull helps to detect any incoming enemies in the dark that we wouldn't normally be able to see. Here, we can see something's right there. We can't tell what it is, but there's something there. And, all right. And that's all five of them. All right, and turn, I suppose. Enemy sighted. Oh, enemy sighted. So, you can see. We have one here, and now one is there. You. Um, go here. No go here, I said. Right, because he encountered an enemy, so they, they stopped the movement just so that you wouldn't have to worry. And uh, I'm going to step forward one, I think. Moving out. And now flamethrower. There we go. See, he's safe up in this corner because it'll, it'll fan around him here and here. So he'll be safe in that corner and it'll prevent the enemy from getting to him. You can change the attack style to a long fire blast like that. The fire comes out, which might actually be a nice idea too, but, or you can just do it here, but he can move then through the corner, which I don't want him to do. So I want to have a nice wide fire, incinerate everything in the way. There we go. And you can step forward one more square. Now that door is, is stuck jamming open and closed, as you can kind of see. So it can't be accessed because now it's it's taking not damage but it's being interfered with. So he'll walk forward. He'll walk forward. You are going to walk backwards, and it's harder to walk backwards. So it takes two movement. Okay, so we have something down here. 
it's going to be coming forward. I don't know if he can see that far, but I'm going to keep one. Overwatch, Overwatch means that if something comes into his line of fire while he's in Overwatch, he gets a free shot at it. He's only got 20 shots per per clip, I guess you want to say. And you, this is your weapon heat. So as you fire, your weapon generates heat, obviously. And uh, yeah, you have to spend action points to unjam and action points to reload. So, end turn, I suppose. There we go. Good thing we put him on Overwatch, because he shot at something, and it looks like he killed it. Okay, the fire's dead. We have an enemy here, we have lots of enemies here. Hmm. Now, what do we want to do? We could turn here. Yeah, let's turn here. There's. Oh, and you missed. Of course you missed. Now, he already shot at him once, so if he shoots at him again, he gets sustained fire bonus of 20% chance to hit. That's not too shabby. Much, much better than this guy. So, let's deal with him. And I missed again. Yeah, figures. Let's shoot him again. Third, third shot. Missed. Wow. I absolutely love these percentages. Okay. Now we're in a bit of a situation here, because the flamethrower doesn't hit square ahead of you, so that means they can come forward and attack us. So what I'm going to do... No, 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 no. You. We're going to back up. Everybody's going to back up one square. Yes, my lord. Yes. And you're now going to... cause fire. But, this guy can still come forward, so, hmm, well, we're just going to have to deal with it. He's going to come forward and try to destroy him, and things are going to end terribly. Target. We are moving. Yep. There we go. And we have one more coming. Uh oh. So there, our flamethrower is dead. Flamethrower is already dead, which is a, a terrible, terrible, unfortunate chance because that is such a nice, handy asset to have. Let's walk forward, try to get into clearing. Good, we killed him. Now, yeah, let's go like this and try to regroup here. Okay, good. And yeah, as you can see, we have a red skull there. So, let's come forward. Alright, there's a ping down there, but nobody that we can see. You. Oh, yeah, there's enemies that are going to be flanking us. So, you're going to walk backwards nice and slowly. Overwatch. You can not do anything. I'm going to... Hmm. No, I'm not going to close the door. And, okay, I think that's all I can do for right now. Enemy inbound. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's bad. Enemy sighted. Okay. We're still alive. So, you are going to shoot at him. Good. Good Movement, job. Brothers. You're going to shoot at... at him. 50% chance. Misses. 75% chance. Good. It hit. And you... Can I... 100% chance to hit. There we go. Dealt with him. Alright, now... This... See, we're starting to generate some heat. Uh, it's not quite at the point of jamming yet, and we're only at 14 out of 20 shots. We could keep going, I think we will, because it'll take one action point to reload, and he can take... He has four, so two to back up one, and two to stay in Overwatch. Weapon at the ready. Now you have two points left, so you're gonna Ready's overwatch forward. everything down there. I see that guy there. But he can see anything in this arc. That arc shows what he can hit. And you hmm. Do you have any action points left? You have one. Well you know what? I might as well reload your weapon, which will cool down a little bit. I'm going to have you Okay, good, there's nobody up there. So, 
going to have you turn and face this way. Okay. And you might as well reload because why not? You see these little numbers here, the one, the zeros, those show how many more action points they have left. Obviously only psychers have this one and that's how many psychic powers they have left. Or how many psychic charges I should say. Oh, your gun is jammed now. Darn it. Initiating attack Alright, keep falling back. Okay. You. Now we could cool down weapon and reload it. So we're gonna need to reload it anyway. And darn it. I should have I should have done the other one first. Hmm. Overwatch, I guess. You, sir, are going to Overwatch. Flying secure. Yep, so there we have this door covered, we have this door covered, but you're gonna jam up. So you're gonna be effectively useless. You know what? Shoot first. There you go. Yes, it has. Now, cool it down. Do you have you have no more action points? That's really bad, unfortunate for me. So you. Nope. Um. You stand here. Yeah. Okay. Did you kill him? I don't know. But I want you to stand Overwatch, to Overwatch. in the hallway here. So. You can also back up. Is there anything here? No, there isn't. Cool. But... Excuse me. I apologize for that. Anyway, you're gonna need to reload your weapon. And you might as well start turning... Turning around. So that we can make... Make it into here and everybody can regroup. And then we can push down. Alright, everybody's alive. Good, everybody's still alive. So, you don't have to worry about anything up there right now. So, I want you out of the way. There we go. And you are going to make a break for it. Objective locked. Because we got something coming quickly here, but we can out outrun them into here at least. You're going to have to cool down your weapon. Is there anything you can see? No, there isn't. Alright. So reload. Now everybody's here, able to be... Um, uh, what do you call it? Everybody's ready Moving here. Out. Just in case, I am going to have you on... Not Overwatch, apparently. Alright, well... Might as well have you reload. You have two points left. So you're gonna go like this. And you know what? Instead of the instead of Overwatch, instead of Overwatch, there, take you out of Overwatch. Now I gain those two points back because I didn't actually use it. I'm gonna have you come forward one square. Looks good. Hmm. I don't know because I know this is a big open room, but other than that, I don't know what to uh, expect. Yeah, okay, we'll go like this. Oh, okay. So there. That means that this is a spawning location. Everything in here, uh, if you get somebody in within that area, it stops them from spawning. Alright. Oh, yes. Of course we have guys coming already. Lots of them, too. So, just keep walking and firing. And, of course, you're going to keep missing. Why wouldn't you? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, you. Nothing there. But there's something there. So, you, I want you down here. And you will simply turn around. And shoot down there. Good, you got it. Alright. Okay, and now I think what I'm going to do is... The psychic skill, I'm going to use... Oh, okay, cool. So I can actually restore those. I didn't know that. There we go. So, now, put you on Overwatch. You are going to... Yeah, okay, there's nobody coming up behind you that we can tell. So there, you're going to do this. 
since you do have enough points, I'm going to attack this a little bit. Nope. No, no. Attack with burst fire. Hmm. Aimed fire. 57%? Sure, why not? Didn't work. Well, I'm going to keep you on overwatch now. Alright, there we go. And you're on overwatch. Okay, well, there we go. Hopefully we can survive this round. Uh-oh. There we go, good. Set up some good My crossfire. Oh, we got a lot coming. Okay, you're going to need to cool off your weapon. You're going to need to reload soon, but... Alright, how do I... Is, uh, what is this saying here? Plus two. Take him out of Overwatch. Um, yeah, reload. And I do want you to walk forward. Alright. Good. Now somebody else can come in here with fresh guns. Walk forward. Good, you got him. Keep pushing forward. And we have nothing coming from behind, so we're safe from that direction. Let's go. I want this way. Nope, not that way. Whatever. Okay, good. Do I have... I have two action points left, so I might as well reload. And... Alright, only the librarian has action points, so that's it. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of crap. Our weapons will jam before they finish those off. So, get over here. There, blocked. Now they can't spawn anything in here. Okay. You are going to turn. Alright. I want you to... In here. That'll be... Okay. No, I want you to... Aimed fire. Aim plus 10% chance to hit. Not bad. Slows them, but has a 50... Only a 50% chance of killing them. That's not a bad idea. Maybe I should do that. And that'll suppress everything in there. Yeah, maybe I will. All right, well, they're suppressed. I didn't really need them to, to be able to uh, uh, kill them. There. Hurry up, librarian, get in there. We got this. So you don't have enough to turn around, do you? Nope. Hmm. Well, because if you get attacked from beside yourself, you have a very low chance of being able to hit back. If you get hit from behind, you are screwed, essentially. You know what, the librarian... Oh, I can't use a psychic power. I'm just going to hold out here. Overwatch. Overwatch it, yeah. Alright. So, one point each, one point. Oh, uh, you might as... Oh. Okay, yeah, sure, we'll go Moving there. You have one point left, you might as well reload. There we are. Beware oh, the no. Alien. Okay, well. Well, then. We just need to straight up get out of there. Alright. You're gonna run. You're gonna run. Okay, Librarian, I'm going to need you to do this. Hopefully they're within range. Yeah, he is. Are you? Yeah. But you're not on Overwatch, so that's going to be bad. Hmm. Okay, good. You can go there, Librarian. Go here. There we go. And one point to activate that. Good. 
you can't move, you can't move, everybody's used up all their th things except you, and you can't even reload, so. Alright, end turn. Uh oh, let's watch this abortion. Oh, yep, you're dead already. And you have your back to them, so. There we go. We don't have three guys. We don't have three guys left, so we can't succeed. That sucks. It's unfortunate we lost our flamethrower right at the beginning. Dead, dead, dead. Well, we got three three replacements. Kills. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. So, that is Space Hulk. And there's many, many more missions and many, many more things to do, but that's just a, a quick first mission of me failing. Alright, well, you guys have a good day, and I will see you in the next video.